Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. It's a beautiful Monday morning. We're starting a fresh new week. Be encouraged. God's going to be with you. God's going to bless the work of your hands. God's going to give you those sales. God's going to open those doors for you. God is with you. He will never fail you. He will never forsake you. I want to take you to some truth today that it's not really nice truth, but it's truth that we need to understand. You know, there's, there's some foods that I like that I really enjoy eating, like an extra large hot fudge sundae from McDonald's. I can really enjoy eating that. Believe it or not, ampalaya. I really like eating that. But there are other foods that, that I eat that I really don't like, but I eat them because they're good for me. Now, there are scriptures in the Bible that we love to read because they're so encouraging, they so bless us. And there are other scriptures in the Bible that's just as much the Word of God, but it's not as, doesn't taste as good. But we need to learn the whole Bible. Now, Mark chapter 13, Jesus teaches us three great dominating attitudes of the end of the age. In verse 12, he says, Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. And all men will hate you because of me, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. Now notice these three great dominating emotional attitudes that are part of the end times. Betrayal. Betrayal of a brother against a brother. Betrayal of a father against his child. Fathers who just walk out on their children and betray them. We see it all around the world today. Rebellion. Children rebelling against their parents. Oftentimes you've heard me talk about there's a few TV shows I don't allow in my house and one of them is The Simpsons. I, I don't understand this, this perversion of the family where the children are the smart ones and the parents and the teachers are the stupid ones. You know, I just, I just don't get it. But it's teaching a new generation an attitude of rebellion against parents. And hatred, persecution, because of Christ. All over the world today, right now, in our days, we are seeing Christians slaughtered. Christians slaughtered in Iraq. Christians slaughtered in Africa. Christians slaughtered across this new Islamic caliphate, this ISIS. We're seeing Christians killed. People are being hated. But it's not just the, the murders that are taking place and the beheadings of Christians and the Coptic Christians. Those just weren't Egyptians. Those were Coptic Christians. Those were believers in Christ in Egypt that were killed. But it's not just the killings. You go all across the world today. Our nation has been spared so far. But you go to America. Every religion has freedom except Christianity is put down. You go to England. You go to Canada. You go to Australia, Christianity is being put down. There is a, an animosity against Christianity that is going all across the world. Hatred because of me. We're hated because of Christ. Now, we, we shouldn't be shocked when we look out across the world and we see betrayal, even within the family, even in the closest relationships of a father and child. Betrayal is a part of the end time attitudes. Rebellion is a part of the end time attitudes and hatred of Christians is part of the attitudes of the end times.